Hello everyone, this is Pavel with another C++ exercise from the starting out with C++ uh, from Control Structures to Objects book. And this is uh, chapter 6, exercise 7. We are going to be writing a function named Celsius that accepts Fahrenheit temperature as an argument. And the function should return the temperature converted to Celsius. I don't know if I say it right, but you know. F and C. Demonstrate the function by calling it in a loop that displays a table on Fahrenheit temperatures 0 through 20 and their Celsius equivalents. This is the formula 5 divided by 9 times Fahrenheit minus uh, 32. Okay, so uh, all right, well, let's uh, do that. We will use the function, so I'm, I'll start with the designing the function they want us to call it Celsius and um, well it's a double it will return a double of the temperature conver converted to Celsius and so it will accept another double uh, F for Fahrenheit C and F all right so uh, yeah I think that that's all it needs to uh, except because if you look at the formula, the only variable that we, uh, we don't know is the F, the Fahrenheit temperature. Okay, so the function, and I'll start with that this time, uh, Celsius, and it will accept the double of F. And um, what it is going to do, um, well, I'm going to, declare a double of Celsius equals uh, this is going to be our result it could be a float actually probably you know what let's do these off as float float and over here we will accept float as well okay and uh, so this is going to be a float yeah we don't need to work with doubles for these so Celsius will be our float and it will equal, and the formula, if you remember, is uh, 5 divided by 9 times Fahrenheit minus 32. So it's going to be 5 divided by 9 times, this is our variable, F minus 32. And now we will simply return C. We, c we didn't have to even do any of these, we could simply... Uh, and actually over here, I'm sorry, uh, it will return float now, not double. Okay, we could we could simply return these, the result of the uh, of the calculation ch like this. We didn't even need any any variables at all. By the fact that we declared it uh, to return float, we will return float, uh, which is the result of the calculation. So. Uh, it's really up to you how you do it. This is probably a little easier to kind of uh, understand. You know, you have your Celsius, and your Celsius equals the result of the calculation, and then you return the result, uh, the, and then you would return C, and that's all, right? But you could also do it this way, simply return the formula, or the result of the formula. Okay, so now I go to my main, and I have to call the function, but before I do, I will need to uh, uh, again declare the float of Celsius that equals 0, 0.0. I will initialize it to that. And um, over here, I will simply write a quick message. So it's something on the screen. I will now calculate, uh, or not calculate, just display. I will now display uh, Celsius temperatures for and they wanted us to loop 20 times I believe 0 through 20 yes so uh, for uh, 0 to 20 Fahrenheit okay and uh, end of line so we will start up putting on the new line so how do we output uh, 0 through 20? Well, obviously we need a loop, uh, so it's going to be an integer i. We'll start with 0, 
because they want us to start with the temperature zero. I now actually basically represents the Fahrenheit. So now Fahrenheit equals zero. Next iteration Fahrenheit will equal one and then all the way to Fahrenheit equals 20. And we will be from the inside the loop, we will be calling this function and returning the result for each individual Fahrenheit, one through 20. So uh, our i is less uh, than 21 because we want 20 inclusive and i plus plus. So, uh, okay, so now we will calculate our Celsius, which is so s simply called the function. So C will equal the result of the Celsius function and we will pass the I, which now basically represents the Fahrenheit temperature. So this float F equals I, or I is being passed into F. Okay, so now we uh, pass the temperature and now it will return the temperature in, into our C variable and now we can output the C variable. Uh, so um, I uh, degrees of Fahrenheit uh, equals two. And over here, you know what, I'm going to do a little, a little formatting. I will do set precision set precision uh, I will set it to 2 it will be fixed and then I now that will apply to RC in other words RC will now have two decimal places uh, only even though the result of the calculation can return several decimal places so it, it, it uh, so it, it will say 0 degrees of Fahrenheit equals to whatever uh, Celsius, whatever number of Celsius, so it will be degrees of Celsius, and new line for the next uh, next iteration. Yeah, and that's all. So uh, let's test that quickly. And I'm getting an error. I always get an error. Set precision was not declared in this scope. Uh, okay. Oh. All right, we need to uh, include our input output uh, library. So let's try again. That's because I'm using the set precision. And uh, there is the result of my calculation 1 through 20. So 0 degrees of Fahrenheit equals zero degrees of celsius everything equals zero degrees wow well clearly it doesn't so uh, the calculation doesn't seem to be working correctly let me do a quick debug in there and uh, let's see so uh, if i go to the next line our celsius now equals it, it seems to be processing it fine it goes, outputs it, goes to another loop, it returns to the function, and uh, I already know what the problem is. It always does a zero because, okay, five divided by zero, I will show you, five divided by zero, by, I mean five divided by nine, sorry, equals 0 0.555. So what this is going to return, if I, uh, this is, we need to, we have it as float. All right, so uh, what I need to do is make sure that the, the result of the uh, calculation is in the format of float. So I will add F, like uh, to make five float and nine float. Uh, let's see if that's gonna do the trick. Invalid suffix, of course it is, never mind. What am I thinking? <laughs> okay, not suffix f what i'm going to do is do simply do this this now is a decimal and it will count it as a decimal 
and here you have it now it's correct so zero degrees of Fahrenheit equals 17 78 I'm not sure if that's a, uh, uh, I don't really know if this conversion is correct so you know what let me do it up to 32 inclusive because uh, I think that would be a zero Celsius and, and it is 32 equals zero Celsius so yeah I think this this is working correctly okay so um, there you have it a uh, very simple function that you call within the loop and you pass the whatever the value of i is at that moment within the each iteration so it starts with zero and it goes all the way to whatever you want it to be you know you can make it 100 it doesn't matter uh, and then over here it will pass that value into a variable f which is then used over here in our calculation and the result of the calculation is stored in c, in a variable c and returned and it's returned to a variable c over here and then we will simply output the result with the variable c in it okay so uh that's the function that's the whole program and i hope it was helpful and i'll see you next time take care